I tell my students that I've been to every continent except Antarctica over and over. And nowhere else in the world have I seen such a variety of igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic rocks, fossils, faults, complex landscapes to interpret, uh, such a variety as anywhere else in the world in a single day. So you just go down the road and you're into a new world. I'm Leon Long and I'm a professor of geology at the University of Texas at Austin. I came to UT in 1962, so you can do the math. I've been around for a while. For my research, I use the occurrence of very tiny amounts of naturally occurring radioactivity. We have the breakdown of nuclei of atoms, and the atom that's there to begin with is called the parent atom. Uh, some type of a particle comes out of the nucleus, and the atom that remains after that event, called the radioactive decay event, is called the daughter atom. So as geologic time goes on, the amount of daughter is increasing, the amount of remaining parent is decreasing. This balance between daughter and parent is the basis of a geologic clock. And so using radioactivity, we can date ancient events. And we're talking now millions and billions of years ago. The Earth going back 4.5 billion years, for example. So I date rocks. I feel so fortunate to be located in Austin, Texas, because it just so happens that Texas is comprised of about a half a dozen large areas. I call them geologic provinces. Austin is right on the boundary between two of these, and there is a third geologic province that's about an hour's drive away. And so there is a lot of variety within easy access. I teach introductory courses, beginning geology. This particular course that I'm on at the moment is a, an introdu introductory field course. And it's rather unusual. It's for students who are not majoring in geology. They're majoring in just everything else. Many of them are intending to become teachers. Here we are at McKinney Falls State Park. This is one of our projects. And I think you can see one of the falls in the background. You're looking at Onion Creek. The falls are coming over a ledge of limestone. Mixed in with the limestone are layers of volcanic rock because 80 million years ago, there was a pretty, pretty good volcano over there just about a mile away from us. And the volcanic rock is this, is this green stuff right here. As you can see, the, the limestone is more of a tan to buff color. The, the kind of gear that we use in the field course is really extremely simple. You've got to have a backpack to hold your stuff. You have a special compass called a Brunton compass, which is uh, specially designed for geologists. It's fancier than most compasses. You have your, your base, which would be a topographic map. We may have a geology hammer to chip on a rock if, it, if we want to get a, a piece of it. We have a hand lens. This is what a hand lens looks like. We have aerial photographs. We have a piece of plastic over the photograph which enables us to draw lines with our pencils. We walk around in the field and we make a geologic map. And a geologic map is a representation of the different kinds of geologic formations as seen on the surface of the earth. We have some nice projects that are right in Austin, uh, McKinney Falls State Park right at the edge. Uh, this afternoon, we're going to go to Mount Bunnell, which overlooks the Colorado River. We're going to go to a stop on Shoal Creek where we have to interpret what we're looking at. Uh, we can go here and there within the town. Then we radiate out. We go typically west of here. There is a large area west of Austin. It's called the Llano Uplift, and it's full of igneous rocks and metamorphic rocks and a lot of sedimentary rocks as well of, of more ancient age than we have here. And so by just driving around, we see all this incredible variety. One thing that they may be doing with what they learn in this course is to teach some geology to their students someday. But even if they don't do that, even if they end up in some other profession, what we learn is just an immense amount of things about the Earth, not only to understand it, but it is my contention that if you understand the Earth, you appreciate it more. It's actually, it's actually more beautiful to you because you understand how it got to be that way.
We are having a lot of fun.